All right, everybody, it's our favorite part of the day. It's when we get to get our hands and everything. Yes, we are in uh, the touch center. I call touch it the pool. touch pool. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is the place at the uh, Shaw Ocean Discovery. Tina's joining us. Tina, uh, what exactly happens in this area? Um, well, it's a really cool place for people of all ages to come and get a feel. We've been talking a little bit throughout the day about, about that idea of this being a place where people don't just get told how it works and how things operate. How important is it, do you think, for people to actually, and especially young kids, to be able to actually touch these? It's really important, and people um, respect what they know. So if we teach them a little bit about the things here, then they may be more respectful of taking care of things when they're out on the beach. Or yeah, because these are the things we'd see on the beach mm -hmm. everywhere in British Columbia, and it's good to know what you can touch, what is gonna hurt you if you touch. This starfish is giving her right now. This thing oh, is very that highly is mobile. For a that sea is star. very <laughs> fast Let's for a sea talk star. about the sea stars first. What, uh, are there different kinds in here? Yes, the, there's a big difference between these two. Um, this one is called a bat star. So you can see where it gets oh, its it name. Like it has star. sort of webbed wings like a bat would have. Do they feel different or do they have the same so serious bat star? <laughs> oh, they do. They so do. I think this one feels like a cat's tongue, that yeah. rough I'm gonna feel. Yeah, I'm and this guy's got a little more sort of spiny almost yeah. to him. Um, now he's regenerating an arm here, mm -hmm. and that's really common for them, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep, they have great powers of regeneration. Um, takes up to about eight months for them to regenerate an arm that's been maybe eaten by a crab or something else. Now everybody's temptation when they see these on the beach is to pick them up and take, take them out and show their friends. Uh, let's talk about respecting what we've got here a little yeah, bit. You shouldn't take any of these out of the water, I guess. No, no. Um, they best live in the water. Yeah. Um, they have tiny little tube feet, so if you pull them off, and they're really hold, held on, you can rip their feet off. Ow. So yes, it's Think best about to keep that, them in the water. Starfish ripping, can't scream, people. You're ripping their little feet off when you pull them up. Uh, let's talk about some of the other things. What's this bad boy right here? It's a plumos anemone. Uh -huh. Are any of these edible? I mean, yes, we the have cucumber. Yeah. The cucumber has uh, five long muscles that run the length of its body, and they're a delicacy. Can I touch, touch that? Mm -hmm. That is the best. You can't leave here without touching the cucumber, Fiona. Whoa. <laughs> um, you, hear, you hear that? I've heard that <laughs> before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like it's like prom all over again, isn't it? <laughs> well, I can tell you, Tina, that I've touched a sea cucumber, and uh, I'm I'm just gonna get Mike to, to enjoy. Yeah. Well, it's got different textures. Well, they the look little, like they have spikes, you, but they don't. I was gonna they're say, not. are the spikes called anything, or are they just spikes? They're just, they're spikes. just yeah, they're to to de to deter predators. Okay. Like you. Very cool. And, <laughs> and what's this? This fellow. It's a swimming right scallop. Oh, nice. So I don't know if we'll be able to get him to actually he looks tired. swim. Yeah, he's a little tired. He's not tired. so exciting, but they're in there. You can give that a touch. Uh, they're pretty spiny, aren't they? <laughs> yes, I usually tell the little kids it feels like tooth, a jar of toothpicks if they're nervous And you don't want to step it. on those guys, no. right? No, no, but they're do, okay to touch. Do they have poison in them as well? The, the large red ones that we have in our waters, if they pierce a diver's suit, they can give you a bit of a uh, festering wound, yeah. but not poisonous, mm, poisonous. Festering. I know this is also uh, a bit of a dangerous question, I think, for someone who works in environment lakes, but do you have a favorite? Do you have a favorite child out of, out of this grouping? To hang out? Yeah, just to touch. Um, I think the cucumber is the best one to touch, actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I Mike like that a lot. Mike seems kind of scared of it. You're how, sketched out, aren't but you? You're the one who's not touching it. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm getting sketched out. How big do the cucumbers get? Can they? Six um, feet long. 50 no. centimeters or half a meter. <laughs> now, you can come here and you can touch and you can feel and you can make new friends here at, uh, at the touch pool. Mike, have you made some friends? Oh, geez. <laughs> that got awkward. We'll be right back. Don't go away.